Yes, Wallace, time flies. And sometimes, flies can be time. Let me explain. Take this clock, for example. You never need to change the batteries or plug it in because it gets its energy from eating these things. Yes, design student James Auger is creating bizarre clocks and strange lamps with an appetite for insects. So where did James's ideas for these come from? We started looking at nature, specifically carnivorous plants. They've got various methods for attracting flying insects and then capturing them, eventually consuming them to create energy. It's in those organisms that we looked for, for inspiration. The insect munching plants that inspired James's furniture live in soil that's short of nitrogen and they have to top up their diet with a bug or two. This is the flypaper clock. It's been inspired by the Drosera family of plants. Now this plant has got a shiny surface and flies are attracted to the plant because they think they can go and get a drink there. But actually the shininess is sticky. So when the flies land on the plant, they get stuck there and they're consumed. So we have a sheet of fly paper, which is revolving around two, two rollers, one at the top and one at the bottom. Flies get stuck to the fly paper, pass over the blade, which scrapes them off. They fall into the fuel cell and this generates electricity to turn the small motor powering the rollers and the clock. But how does he turn a fly into a buzz of electricity? The solution comes from some inventive minds at Bristol Robotics Laboratory. We want robots to be able to get their own energy from the environment. Now, animals already crack this problem because animals eat things. They eat stuff and they turn that stuff, we call it biomass, into energy. We want to get robots to turn biomass into electricity. A robot powered by flies. That might just take off. So let's meet the fly-powered EcoBot. And it's all thanks to something very clever called a microbial fuel cell. This is a microbial fuel cell. What we use is bacteria and food. And the bacteria munch away on the food. And we steal the electricity, the electrons inside of the bacteria, some of them, we manage to steal those, and then those electrons, that electricity, is what powers the robot. Eight dead flies in the microbial fuel cells makes it work for about 12 days. And thanks to Professor Meluish, maybe one day this will be an amazing renewable energy source. Insects might be powering more than robots and clocks in the future. Because after all, there's never any shortage of flies. Thank you.